वेलकम एवरी वन टू दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन वे आर गिवन टू अर्स आर थ्री स्क्वेयर्स द पर्पल स्क्वेयर द ब्राउन स्क्वेयर एंड द बिग ब्लू स्क्वेयर लेंथ ऑफ दिस रेड लाइन सेगमेंट एंड ग्रीन लाइन सेगमेंट इज गिवन एज टेन एंड सिक्स सेंटीमीटर ईच एडिशनली इट्स गिवन दैट एरिया ऑफ दिस पर्पल रेक्टेंगल एंड दिस ब्लू रीजन इज इक्वल एक्साइटिंग पार्ट इज विद दिस लिमिटेड डाटा वी हैव टू फाइंड एरिया ऑफ दिस ब्लू स्क्वेयर Let's check this interesting solution. We'll solve it in three steps. First step, we'll find distance between this point and the vertex of blue square. Then we'll get this angle between the red and green line segment, and finally we'll get the area of our blue square. Let's start by assuming the area of this purple region is represented by number one. For white region, area is two. For brown region, it's three, and for this, it is four. Also, let's assume the side length of purple square is a centimeter, brown square it's b centimeter, and for the big blue square it's c centimeter. Now, area of this blue square is side square or c square. Also, this blue square area is area four plus two plus area three. But it's given in the question area four and area one are equal, so we can say c square is one plus two plus three. Now area one plus area two, that's the area of this purple square, so that's a square. Area three is area of brown square, that's b square. So we are getting this relation between c, a, and b. Now for this dotted length, let's consider this right angle triangle here. Here the height is a centimeter, and base length is b centimeter. So hypotenuse length we can say is a square plus b square. But c square is also a square plus b square, so here we can say this dotted length is nothing but c centimeter. Now to get this angle here, let's consider this point A here. Now distance of this point from this point is c centimeter because it's side length of blue square. This also is c centimeter we have established, and this is also side length of blue square, so it's c centimeter. So with point A as the center. we can draw a circle with radius c and it will pass through these three points here now if we'll consider the angle at point a this outer angle is 270 degrees and by theorem the angle subtended at the remaining part of the segment that will be half of it so here this golden angle this is half of 270 or 135 degrees Now to get the area of blue square let's draw the diagonal length of the blue square and we know that diagonal of the blue square is nothing but root 2 times of c Now if we'll consider this triangle here yellow triangle and applying cosine law in it so cosine law is your x square is y square plus z square minus 2 times of yz times cos theta where theta is this angle between the other two sides So putting the values here, <coughs> x is root 2c, y and z they are 10 and 6. Now solving it, root 2c is 2c square, and cos 135 that's minus 1 upon root 2. Now solving it, let's first divide full equation by 2. So this will be your 68, and this is 60. Now this negative negative will become positive, and 60 divided by root 2 that will become 30 root 2. Now c square that's what is area of this blue square, and writing it in decimal form we'll get area of this blue square as 110.4 centimeter square, and that's our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. I will see you in next video. Till then, Tata. Bye bye.